All right, thank you, Andrew. You know from the beginning, this has been a farm-oriented fair. Agricultural animals dominate, the sheep and the goats and the cows. They've been part of this fair and the tradition for 178 years. Right, but we want to bring in a different kind of animal right now. Ladies and gentlemen, hold your breath. Be quiet, be still. Oh, oh, oh. my. Yay. Oh. Oh my gosh, Beautiful. I was holding my breath. This is Tanya Lowe. She is the curator and education director with Hawk Creek yeah, with Birds of Prey that's just right across the way from the fairgrounds. Tell us about this beauty. Well, this is Talon. He's our red-tailed hawk, mm. and he's one of the birds that flies in our free-flying bird shows right over in the parks area of the park. He came to the center after he had unfortunately been injured by a squirrel. Oh, it bit his leg wow. so hard, he's got permanent tendon damage in his leg, and he was found starving in the wild. So with us, he doesn't have to worry about catching his own food, but he still gets the opportunity to fly for folks. You would never know, looking at him, that he went through that. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so uh, he seems so comfortable with you. Oh, absolutely. A lot of training has gone into this guy. We make sure that these birds are well prepared for anything the fair has to throw at them, and they've been doing a phenomenal job well, flying over our guests. Training. He just flew in from uh, 25 yards away. How long did it take? And right to you. I mean, absolutely. How long did that take to learn? Um, he's a pretty quick learner, but I mean, some birds can take up to two years to train. This guy learned it within a couple months. And the way he looks at you, I feel there's a special bond there. Oh, absolutely. Each of our animals has their own uh, unique stories and their own personalities, and they form different relationships with different handlers. And, you know, it's an honor to be able to work with them and to share them with all the folks here at the fair. Can There's you tell a... us a little more about Hawk Creek Wildlife Center? Uh, we're a not-for-profit wildlife center that is located just south of Buffalo. Okay, and uh, we specialize in birds of prey and wildcats. We do rehabilitation. We do education programs. Mm. A lot of what Talon does is actually going to schools and libraries and community events. Yeah. What do you want? people to know about these birds because some people fear them they're afraid of them there's a lot of misconception about them absolutely best thing that I can tell people is learn about them when you have some fears about something learn about it because you're gonna find out just how remarkable these birds are a single raptor can catch over 2,000 mice in a single year so here people are having problems with rodents and things like that we have natural pest control uh, built in so a little understanding in these guys are gonna help out his name is Talon Talon, Talon. Very talented beautiful. and not at all spooked by all the people, all no. the human beings. Oh, no. amazing. The there is a beautiful display there and all kinds of birds. And it's amazing how they just sit still for you, too. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. These guys these guys know their jobs. They take it very seriously. See, hungry? <laughs> Giving them a little snack <laughs> sure there. Is. And I that's, how we, do our, that's how we do our training is positive <laughs> reinforcement. <laughs> Um, right. So these guys are very comfortable. They're meeting people. Our exhibit is open from 10 to 6 each day of the fair, and flying bird shows are at 11, uh, 12.30, and 3.30. And we are here thanks to New York State Office of Parks, Recreation, and Historical Preservation. So we want to thank them for bringing us here right. this year again. Everybody, let's give it up for the Birds of Prey. Let's give it up for Tanya. Tanya. And the Birds of Prey. Thank you. Hawk Creek. We're going to talk about a different, different